It's Media Monday, and in this episode, we're gonna talk about the importance of video marketing in 2019. I'm turning dreams into reality. In the lab with the formula and chemistry. The memories spark and motivate and make the industry shake. We put the balls in the place. I'm talking one, it's one all one shot. Now the future is yours. Go! What's up guys, I'm Kyle Mylan, and if you get value out of this content, be sure to share this with one person that you know and hit that subscribe button. Video marketing 2019 for manufacturing companies, I am sick and tired of seeing the same things in my feed of LinkedIn. We're seeing people push stuff out through email marketing to the world where it's the same boring corporate style videos with elevator music or some cheesy indie rock that's super quiet with some maybe some piano or some bells or chimes in it. And while that used to work back 10 years ago, the, the market has shown that they want to see something different. There is no way that you're gonna stand out if you're a manufacturing services company making these cheesy videos. You have to change and adapt to what people wanna see. Video marketing these days is the best way to get attention because you can tell a story a whole lot faster in a three minute video than you can in a 14 page article or 10 two page articles. So the current state of manufacturing videos is pretty, horrible right now. There's not a ton of companies that are producing content that is engaging, fast paced, things like that, like what we do at Fivefold Agency where it is gonna hit you right away. It's just the same old flat line, you know, interview with a backdrop and it has to change. If you look at your competition for most manufacturing services companies, you guys are going to be saying that you're better than them, why? So when I talk to clients, I say, what is your value proposition? But you cannot use customer service, quality or delivery. A lot of times you get crickets on the other end. It's the same thing with video marketing. If you wanna stand out against the other guys that are basically doing the same thing, whether you're in metals or corrugated or chemicals or automation or plastics or anything like that, to stand out against them, you need to do something different. Most people are still doing the old school style way of video marketing because they're just Google searching, finding some local company and being like, hey, make, make a cool video for me. And I get that the upper management may be not the most youthful anymore, but you have to change and make it to where it's gonna stand out because everybody's doing the same thing, just like everybody's using the same value proposition. So everybody's watching videos these days. It has a higher increased engagement rate than any images or written content. To get your mindset around that, and there's a lot of people that are saying, no, written word is still better. Even in this industry, people write articles. I've heard it tons of times by saying like, we need to advertise in this magazine because they ask their, their small group of four people and say, would you read this magazine? Do you read this magazine? Would you read this? And they're all like, yes, yes, yes. You have to cast the net outside of that little small micro group and look at the overarching theme and what are the general statistics saying about video marketing. If you're on LinkedIn, which you should be, as you scroll through your feed, it's all about video. Everybody's making videos, whether they're, they're first person videos in a car, which is getting a little bit played out, or they're corporate videos, or short videos that are people are shooting at their plant. It's all about the video content. Because videos are the most engaging form of content, you can tell the story the fastest, that is why you have to do it, because that is what is trending. It's disrupting the feed. You can tell your story faster. You can send it out easier. You can get more views on it. Google's even ranking videos higher than organic posts. So everything's about video, and it's gonna to continue to trend down that way. But the key is, is that you have to start with something and then push and get better and better with it. So whether or not you like reading articles or you like watching videos or a combination of both and you ask your friends what they want, it doesn't matter what microgroups say, look at the statistics that show that video is more engaging. People want to see the behind the scenes. They wanna see everything that's about your company. They wanna be entertained and they wanna do it on their time. They, they don't wanna to have to read through articles. There is still a percentage of people that do that, which is why you need to do both to a certain extent, but video is gonna drive that traffic engagement and there's the, the social platforms and YouTube and Google is ranking that higher and they're putting more emphasis and love to those people that are making those videos. So that's why you need to be doing that. So how do you use this? Well, number one, do not hire some BS production company that's gonna charge you tens of thousands of dollars to make these cheesy videos. Okay, that's the place to start. The way that we do it at our agency is we go on site with our client and we shoot three months worth of content in one visit. 
The reason why we do that is that we're gonna create 12 micro videos. So the core top video, the first one we're gonna make is the corporate overview video. This is not slow, super slow or cheesy music or elevator style. It's gonna be a little bit faster paced, but that's kind of like the anchor to the video marketing strategy is a new corporate overview video, three to five minutes long. From there, we've got hours worth of content that we shot, shot and we've gone into it knowing that we wanna create these micro pieces. So the micro pieces we create for them are gonna be things that are anywhere from 45 seconds to maybe two and a half minutes long looking at their specific value proposition or your specific service that you offer that's better than anybody else or highlighting something new that you're getting into or a new industry. And then from there, we've got 12, 11 to 12 different videos that we break out once a week and push those out on social, email, the website, YouTube, things like that. The reason for this is that you want to drip that content out. You don't wanna put all your eggs in one basket and be like, all right, cool, we're gonna drop 15 grand. We're gonna make one three minute video. It's gonna be a new corporate thing. We're gonna put it on our website. People are gonna love it. We're gonna push it on social. It's gonna get all this engagement. That's not gonna happen. You have to have consistency and continue pushing things out and understand that people don't always necessarily wanna watch a long piece of content. They just want to have little teasers and micro pieces of content. So start with the core, like the bookends is gonna be that corporate overview video with executive team, with, with some people talking about value proposition, but then the micro piece of content, that's where you can push it out 45 seconds and get people to hook in and then drive them to your website, drive them to a landing page, whatever it is for them to learn more about your service, but you have to hook them first and that's not gonna happen if every single video is like five minutes long and it's boring, fluffy stuff. So once you have this micro content or these videos lined up, you're gonna push them out on social, preferably on either Instagram, LinkedIn, try and avoid Facebook, but if for the machine shops out there and you guys making cool stuff, Instagram's gonna be very powerful for you. So you push out on your company page, you have your employees share it, you wanna try and get as much exposure as possible. When you're uploading it, you have the choice of either native video or YouTube uh, and have it host on YouTube. The difference is gonna be whether or not it auto plays. From the company standpoint, I would push it out on YouTube and just put that link into the company page, have your, your employees share that out. And then you can send it out through email marketing. You're gonna put it on your YouTube page. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have proper SEO so that way that can get found to some extent. But really you have to push hard as possible on this to get this out there through all of those different channels and continue to do that every single week that you get this micro content. And you will significantly cover up the landscape in, in social and in your target demographic. If the more content that you have and you keep pushing out there, the more that people are gonna see the name. That doesn't mean go in for the, the, the close on the deal and be like, okay, you've seen these two pieces of content. You wanna buy from me? Can you move your business to me? I'm the best at this for these reasons. Give me a purchase order, send me an RFQ, whatever it is. You don't wanna do that. You want to just push it out there as hard as possible and ideally, they start to come back to you or when you do reach out to them after a couple weeks, couple months, they're like, yes, I've seen a ton of your content on social or through email and it's less of a cold call or a cold visit or less of a cold engagement. Stop making those boring videos that nobody likes. Video marketing is the most engaging form of content. And remember that you have to create a lot of it consistently and push it out there hard. We'll see you on the next one.